Hey, welcome to my show, and uh, just going to go over a boiler that we're installing. It's a um, SGO Series 4, and um, this particular one is an 8-section boiler. Let me come around and I'll show you the rating plate. Right around here. There we go. And it is, an, as I said, an eight-section boiler. Um, we got it, uh, there's the schematic. And we got it uh, semi-knockdown. And it comes in a, a bare block and the um, sheet metal comes in a separate box. As you can see, uh, the box was originally taped and then it got opened and then somebody went through and re-taped it again very nicely. However, uh, they forgot to include the um, hardware for uh, mounting this. So that caused a bit of issue with getting this thing together. But anyway, so the... Uh, block arrived yesterday and uh, the Ferguson team did their great job in getting it in safely and um, intact and uh, no one got seriously hurt getting this thing in the basement. As you can see we got it up on the block there. Um, this is going to be oil fired, so we're keeping the uh, K-Wool rug in. There's the target wall in the back. There is the uh, pins uh, going up through there for um, heat transfer. You can see the uh, it's eight section. The door gets mounted here. Uh, this is our full port ball valve that we mount here with an adapter and um, it's a webstone it's really nice with a reversible handle uh, the semi knockdowns do not come um, with a low water cutoff you add your own so uh, this is ours we're going to be this is where the probe is and uh, this is where the box is going to be mounted the, uh, this is the skim tapping here. Uh, we've installed the sight glass fittings, and there's our street quarter inch street 90 and drain um, for the sight glass, and that's to clear the door, which goes there. This gets plugged. Uh, sometimes you can add a half inch probe here for. Uh, CSD1. This is our janky hardware for holding that on there. And this is where the pressure control and gauge gets mounted. We're going to be using a 240 pigtail with a quarter inch um, male T where we put the gauge here and the pressure troll there. And it's going to go on like that. So the, um, it's got two risers coming out of here on, in this size, and they are two and a half inch, and we are going into a rather truncated um, drop header. Uh, the instructions call for a three inch header, uh, which receive the steam from the two and a half inch uh, supplies. Got a union here, and then I got our first takeoff. And then we got a rather large gap here, and then another takeoff for the other riser. And the reason why I got this fairly large gap is we're coming out of the top of the boiler. Let's see if I can get you a shot. There's a breaching there. We're going to come out of the top of the boiler. You, we did have the choice of coming out here, but we blanked that off. And as I said, we're coming out of the top of the boiler, and we're going into this you know, chimney over here. So the uh, seven inch ductwork, pardon the glare there, let me see if I can, the seven inch ductwork is going to come out and uh, go into there. Um, 
at some point, hopefully by tomorrow. Um, so that's an 18 incher. And as I said, this is still hasn't been made up yet. I'm going to drop with two inch to about and then transition to inch and a half just above where the uh, Harford loop is going to be tied into right about where my fist is there. And then we're going to go into that uh, two by inch and a half T with a uh, drain there at the end uh, with some 90s to make that up for the equalizer line. There is the existing wet return and uh, we've removed the drain valve that was there and installed a full port uh, webstone uh, ball valve for better drainage. That's inch and a half. We're going to go down to inch and a quarter for the return. Um, and the, uh, the equalizer line there probably have. And at some point the, the VXT is going to be tied into here and probably wind up somewhere around there. There's the, um, oh man, you can't really see it there. Let me get a better, closer view. We're going to, there's the existing VXT there. As you can see, um, they uh, mounted it uh, upside down, I think. Um, so we're going to see if we can take care of that. And... Um, no, that's not true. They didn't mount it upside down. They they mounted it correctly. The, this this cover was put on upside down. I'm, my mistake. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, we're going to. Oh, you might want to know what was here before. This is a V8. Was here before oil fired. Um, we're going to keep, uh, keep it oil fired. Here's the uh, oil line here. There's the electric uh, junction box here, and this is the feed. This is the original tag for the uh, VA, uh, VXT. But anyway, uh, V8 was here. Uh, it's only it was only here 15 years, and um, it rusted out at uh, the top, um, not the rearmost section, but a couple sections in. It was a seven-section boiler. We uh, broke it up, and um, the uh, oil delivery team hauled it away. So I've got my fittings here. Um, ready to uh, put this in. Here's the instruction manual and uh, the extra stuff that we got from the old boiler which of course didn't fit the new <laughs> for the hardware but uh, c'est la vie. Oh that's right and the other pressure relief valve is going to go here um, with the uh, T and uh, the drip um, probably coming down here. And there's the old, old uh, drip from the old boiler there. There's the old relief valve. Might salvage a few parts off of that, but we'll see how that goes. So thank you very much for um, joining me on this uh, little adventure here. And uh, I hope I got some good news for you in the coming days. Thank you again. Thank you for your comments and uh, be well.